Toto, my final question for you is, a lot of times immigrants, new students, when they come to Canada or New Zealand or the US, wherever they are, a lot of time they are facing with this quote and quote, you don't have local experience, you don't have Canadian experience. So in that sense, what tips you have so that they can integrate to the Canadian market and get those experience? What, and what is local experience in your opinion? Local experience, part of that is a way of protecting jobs for the citizens mm -hmm. and for the people who were born and raised there. And I, I, I think that's a big part of it. Uh, I, I've been hit this. So when I first came to New Zealand and I was living in Auckland, people looked at me, they said, oh, you don't have any local experience. And they said, do you speak English? I'm like, that's the only language I speak. <laughs> that's the only language I know. I, I come from Canada. And at first they're like, no, we want nothing to see. And I found a manual job. I found stuff that completely out of my area. When I was coming back, I talked to um, my wife joined LinkedIn. She found a recruiter friend who introduced me to someone else. That helped me out. He's like, don't worry about the local experience. We don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can work live. You're going to live in a major city, they might go, oh, you have this. You live in a smaller area and they might not worry about it or it might be vice versa mm -hmm. so take a look and talk to recruiters and see what they're looking for if they hit you with i don't have any um, local experience volunteer mm -hmm. my background in accounting and i was told well you don't have any local experience you need two weeks of it which made no sense to me it takes over a month to get user access usually you have an access to and, uh, everything yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I went and I had an opportunity to do some volunteer. Mm -hmm. and that would have, would have been more than I would have ever been able to get in my professional life. I'm like, geez, you're going to give me a lot more responsibilities to volunteer. Now I can put that on my resume. Yes. And so sometimes you need, you need to go and do that. You need to do the volunteering because now you can get recommendations. Yes, local recommendations. So don't underestimate the ability to go and volunteer. That can really make the difference. Um, and if you get hit with the no local experience, don't feel bad. A lot of people get hit with this. I tell and so yeah, I tell the students, you know, survival jobs or retail job, because retail job is you're dealing with speaking with so many different people from different backgrounds. And then it's not just interaction, you know, it's communication, problem solving. So you will get all those skills which are transferable to any job. So at the beginning, it, I, I came here 10 years ago in Canada. I didn't have any experience. I did retail for three months and then I was there on the floor. And then I did one year maternity leave. There's also, also, also contract jobs. And then sometimes those contract jobs can turn to a full-time job. And sometimes what happens with the contract jobs are not as concerned with the looks like I need someone now. And it's that it's the way of being able to test for like, I'll give you a contract for two or three months, mm -hmm. see how you are. And then if I really like you, I might hire you on. Yeah. So two of my two positions that I can think of that I've had in my life, I got full time positions from a short term contract. That's uh, my very first job out of university. It started as a, a contract and it was open ended. And they're like, and eventually I said to them, You either hire me or I'm walking. They're like, <laughs> Okay. And they opened it up and they hired me. Mm. Another position that I had, uh, they, once again, they hired me because they knew who I was. I set off 100, 200, 300 different applications when I already know how this person is. They, they're in with the team, they're already here. Why not hire them yeah. instead of having to go through the other process? Those are great tips, Tom. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. And again, sorry for the some technical difficulties. We hear you. We understand the whole uh, idea. But again, some technical. You're ahead of us. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> Maybe you should come to Canada first. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Tom, thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Bye.